गाइस इशप्रीत है वेलकम बैक टू स्लीक एंड नाटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक यू गाइज फॉर सच अ ट्रिमेंडस रिस्पॉन्स टू माई लास्ट वीडियो ओके सो नाउ कमिंग टू दिस वीडियो सो ऑल ऑफ अस हैव सो मेनी सलवार सूट सलवार कमीज सूट विद अस एंड सलवार सूट्स आर नॉट मच इन फैशन दीज डेज सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ यू कैन कन्वर्ट योर सलवार इन टू अ लहंगा स्कर्ट ये सो विद द सेम शर्ट You can wear a lehenga instead of a salwar to give it a trendy look like this. In fact, the suit that I'm converting in this video is one of the suits from my wedding trousseau. So the shirt is really beautiful. It has beautiful work on it. Uh, the only problem was that it had a salwar, so it looked a little old-fashioned. So I thought to give it a new look, and I'm going to show it to you in this video. So let's start. Through this video you can understand the concept of converting a salwar into a lehenga and then get it done from your tailor in a matter of minutes. Before moving on to the actual salwar I'll explain it to you with the help of a piece of paper how a salwar can be converted into a lehenga. So a salwar is made of three parts one belt and two legs. So when the salwar is made first of all the two legs are joined. Now these legs have to be joined to the belt. Now you can see that the legs are wider than the belt. So in order to fit the legs into the belt, the legs are pleated like this so that these become the size of the belt and can be fitted into it. And then the legs are stitched to the belt. Now to make the lehenga, we will first of all unstitch the belt from the salwar. Next, we will open up the pleats and separate the two legs from one another. And now comes the magical part. Rotate the two legs like this and join these two halves together by stitching them in the center. Finally, give a round cut at the bottom edge and join it back to the belt and the lehenga is ready. So now let's move on to the actual salwar. First of all, turn it inside out. So this is the belt and these are the two legs. We will open up this stitch to separate the belt from the rest of the salwar. I'll be using these thread clippers to open up the stitch in this video. You can of course get it done from your tailor. Since my salwar has this interlocking, so I'll open up this as well. So the belt is now separated from the rest of the salwar. I'll now unsew the second stitch to open up the pleats as well. All the pleats are opened up and now it's time to separate the two legs. So we will cut on this center stitch. After this cut off and remove the bottom stiff parts of the salwar which are also called poncha in Hindi. This is how the two halves will now look and for your reference this is the bottom side and this is the top side which was attached to the belt. We will now rotate the two halves like this as I had shown you with the paper salwar. So this becomes the waist, this becomes the ghera and this becomes the length of the lehenga which is now coming to about 28 inches. There is another option for you as well. We have these openings which we had got when we had separated the two legs of the salwar. So you can make the waist out of these openings as well. So I'll show you that option. I'll rotate the pieces like this so that these openings come on the top. So now the ghera of option 1 has become length here and the length of option 1 has become the ghera here. So the length is now increased to about 35 inches and the ghera has reduced So you can select which option you want to go with depending on the length and ghera you want since I don't want much ghera so I'll go with option number 2. Now join the two halves together along the length by stitching the two top layers together and similarly the two bottom layers. So I've now got the two halves stitched together. This is the stitch in the front, this is the one at the back and this is how the stitch looks from inside. We now have to cut the round shape of the lehenga at the bottom so this opening that you see on the side will be cut off when we make the round. This round cut can be made by your tailor but still I'll tell you how it is made for this measure the length of your lehenga with the measuring tape suppose it is 35 inches so now keep your measuring tape at different points of the waist and keep moving it diagonally to mark the points at 35 inches like this repeat this on the other side as well so like this you get a circular line on the bottom edge another way to do this is to take one of your existing lehengas and place it on the unstitched lehenga by matching the centers and trace its bottom edge Now cut along this circular line and now get the bottom edge hemmed from your tailor. Next thing to do now is to attach the belt back to the lehenga. But before you do this, put on the lehenga once and see if you are able to comfortably pass through the opening. If you are not, then cut it a little more so that it increases in width. 
Also while getting the belt attached, remember to move this hole through which we put the drawstring to the side instead of the center so that we can have a latkan or a tassel on the side like this. I have now got the belt attached and the bottom edge hem. Now just put the string or the nada through the belt and attach a tassel or a latkan of your choice to it. Now put on your heels and try on the lehenga to see how much more length you want. Depending on that, select a narrow or a wide lace and attach it to the bottom border of the lehenga to get your desired length. Since I didn't need to add much length, I went for a narrow lace which matched with the work on my shirt. And yeah, my lehenga is now ready. I seriously loved this pairing of the short kameez with the lehenga. It looked so much better than the salwar and that stitch in the center of the lehenga actually gives it the appearance of a sharara. So guys, I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and do connect with me on my Instagram account which is Slick and Natty. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.